Okay, let's see here. There we go. Hey guys, sorry for that. Looks like I forgot to turn the sound on back for the music. Couldn't see what I was playing. It was uh, Avatar Statue of a King because we had the new wallpaper, which I'll probably superimpose on the raw recording of this when I'm done with it. Everybody, welcome to the show. It is me, Psycho Blue. Come to the hype train, Mr. Hype Gems. Hashtag cross wires. And uh, once more, as you know me, hashtag Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I am back from the Thanksgiving browbeat from my family, telling me how disappointing I am. But that's okay, I know you guys are disappointed in me. I certainly hope not, because I am here to give you an offering. My little Thanksgiving contribution, although it's a few hours late, because it is breakfast, as a matter of fact. It is Japanese breakfast. Some replays from a morning session I had with Hazama, Kaogao, and Kagura, the Japanese Street Fighter Cross Tekken crew. The good news is uh, it's dinner time somewhere, so in many ways, we're right on time. And this is going to be their breakfast because they're just about waking up over in Japan. So without further ado, let us begin. I'm going to get the stuff up right now. Hold on just a moment. Let's see here. Recording. Let's do the scene. There we go, all nice and neat. Put the controller up. And then I'll put the keyboard down before everything falls apart. Hold on. There we go, the good stuff. How's everybody doing today in Internet Land, if you are watching? Say hello if you are in the stream. If not, look forward to seeing you soon as some people show up. If not, I will see you in the YouTube clips. Because this will be up on YouTube when we're done with it. Let us begin. Okay. Network. Ah, the good stuff right here. Put it on my channel. Pretty sure I saved everything. I'll make a little playlist, nice and neat, that I can just uh, put my stuff down and ease up a bit. Let's say hello to the family. Let's make a playlist. We're going to start from all the way down here, from downtown. I do believe it was 17. Yeah, it was 17. One... Got 17 matches to show you guys this evening. Wait until we have the Discord stream. Man, we have like over 50 matches we got to show from that one because that one was a full man stream. So, spoilers, Brent won again. Sorry, guys, he adjusted and my control was acting pretty funny at the time. And, uh, hey, I'll do well the online. The mentality is all different. So, hopefully, offline, I'll have everything broken in properly since my pads on the front. I actually got a new one and new pad art that looks very much like the wallpaper you saw earlier in this stream. So look forward to that, and uh, we'll keep moving forward. If not, he's a pretty good player. No, she moved to him. He's won like thousands of bucks. So could be worse. Let us begin this wonderful stream in earnest. There we go. All nice and neat. Let's see who shows up in the chat while we're at it. Hello. Perfect. Just perfect. This is my first match. I don't remember liking it much, but again, trying to get back into it. And hey, look, he's playing Dudley. Yeah, Dudley is a pretty good character. I usually have problems with Dudley even before uh, Brent came aboard. Um, there were a lot of good Dudleys in my area. There was Rai Rai. There was uh, Chuck and Plasma. Um, thankfully, because online, those confirms are killing me as they could. Yeah, look at me. I'm just swinging right now, trying to stop something. I'm not going to go for the fancy juggle just yet. I have been learning a new uh, post-launch juggle for Bison, but I'm not going to go for it just yet. I don't think it's time yet. It has been once I faced that. Julia, however... I should have known better. Yeah, I think all in all, throughout this entire thing, um, I only lost four times out of those 17 matches. 
Uh, five counting one of the tag matches we did. There we go. See, the thing about Bison, I know his close medium kick is really good, but I have to get in range to actually use it for that block string situation. Because most people are going to poke me out of it. And I don't want to jump in too much or get DP'd. I might be dead after this, to be honest. Uh. Oh, I blocked. Should have interrupted in between. Stomp. Ah, good blocking. Hazama, good blocking. That. Oh, no, I missed. I missed again. Got him that time. Ah, wrong one. Yeah, sometimes online you get some really weird situations where you get moves you don't want. Ah, I dropped it. Might be dead. Maybe. If I can just get a chip out. There we go. Chip out Psycho Crusher. One of my favorite moves to end a match. We are on the board, ladies and gentlemen. We have one viewer. One viewer, say hello. Let's keep this going and building up over time. Same time it is Thanksgiving. A lot of people who be watching this might be out dining at the moment. So no worries. Look at this. I'm facing Pac-Man. Look at this nonsense. A Pac-Man player. They do exist. And I'm not even using the best juggles right now. Good news is, once I face this Pac-Man, hopefully I won't will have the same problems, but no causes in here, which means every time he dodges forward, it's a 50-50 situation. If I get hit by uh, one of those hell sweeps, it's going to be guess between overhead and a low. Ah, uh, no, I missed the link. Got that one, though. Don't be jabbing on me, my friend. Keep uh, Heihachi in there. And I gotta watch out for that back fist. Oh, my goodness. Thankfully, he has no DPs to worry about. Oh, no! Oh, yo, goodness. Oh, goodness. He going for it again! Goodness gracious! That actually works! Oh, everyone seems to hit these cross-up Tatsus and cross-ups hits things, but me, I always miss it when I'm in the training lab with people. It's frustrating. Maybe I have to move backwards to make it hit easier? Oh, yo, he has uh, the SmackDown air-to-air, -air, where it has that hard ground bounce. Whoa, he outreaches me too! Look how far that reaches. Get out of there. And he recovers super quick. How terrifying. Uh, sorry, my bash. I'm streaming right now. We're going to replay. Yeah, this is, might be a wash. I am trying desperately to stop this, but it's not happening. There we go. None of that electric nonsense here. No, oh, backed away. The overhead. Empty low into the Electrowind Godfist, into Super. The pain. Make it stop. Got him. Got him. But I'm so far. Oh, no, I dropped it. <laughs> no juggle for me. This might be dead. See, the back fist. Respect the back fist. And now I'm dead, for real. Gross. Next slide.
Yeah, this was the part of the s session where everyone kind of stomped me for a bit. Now, I'll be honest, I think Kagura's the best of the Japanese bunch right now. His ability to walk backwards is so frustrating as a Bison player. Yeah, if I get up too close, he might get a DP on me. So I need to be very careful. But I really do want to use that close medium kick a lot more than I am right now. Look how tight this is. Tapping me. That block string is no end. I have a life lead, but it's tenuous. I gotta watch out because... Bice does not recover in time to avoid that. Oh, no. Cross-up situation. Looking like Street Fighter 4 right now. Still tapping me. That could have been dead. Look, he has no gems. Like a big shot. Making me feel really bad about myself. Using a handicap on me. That is something I will need to discuss with Capcom when I speak with representatives in a couple weeks at Capcom Cup after I do their... Uh, Street Fighter V recording stuff. Because as you guys may or may not have heard, I am the official technical lead for the Capcom Cup this year in L.A. I'm responsible for recording, splicing, and making a highlight reel of everything that's not on the mainstream. So look forward to that. I'll be sure to talk to them about that insistence of using no gems. Now, I am completely fine at this point with having defaults only in, like, rank settings. So, leave the custom gems, or the no gems, to the endless battle. If we do get a re-release or report, that's going to be the main thing I want to talk about. Not even so much a sequel. I don't want to just tell them, hey, you want to make my game? That's a great chase down from Kagra, by the way. I knew he was going to do something at one point. I just didn't realize he was going to do it there. But his jump... or. Her jump, Cammy's jump, is very fast. So Realm Drew surprised me that uh, he could just react to it. Yeah, these gender people. Too many people playing waifus right now. Good DP. It traded, though. Duh, duh, good. I'm not going to tag in Bison back Dutch yet. I don't know if I have a choice this matter, to be honest. This is looking pretty dire. Hmm. Yeah, I think this round is done. No, oh, he missed. I didn't think about quick standing. I just burned a meter trying to cross cut, but I'm not very good at cross cutting in that situation. Da da. Where was I? Ah, I remember. I was talking about reviving cross tech and for new platforms. PS4 port, and Xbox One port. Nah, got me again. Now I know no, don't do it. He's neutral jumping and doing empty stuff each time. It's frustrating. I can't block it. What I will do... Oh, caught it again! Yikes! I really do want to stomp more. Um, Someone said I'd stomp a lot, which is true. I wish stomp had better tracking because it's really important in Street Fighter V. We're going to write that one off, but that was a really good game from Kagura. Very nice. Uh, where was I? Talking about... I remember. I was talking about reviving this game on PS4, Xbox One, and fixing the PC version. Proper Steam works this time. If we do it that way, we don't have to have everyone in the Discord asking about how we can do more Got cut looking at the stream, sorry. And not the uh, one on my screen. That way we can focus on doing more to build our community and not have people come asking, hey, the PC version is dead, her, her, game for Windows Live, it doesn't work anymore. That lie did so much damage to building the cross tech and community in a time we really needed some building. I gotta be frank with you, I actually got really mad at the FGC about that. Because they do love spreading lies about games that they don't understand. Um, and I've gone to arguments with people about it. 
I won't say I've lost friendships because I just didn't know people that well, but people do look at me weird when I talk the truth and they don't understand it and they don't try to think where I'm coming from or realize I'm not trying to make it up. This game really did not need people lying about the um, Game Boy Live being dead because it was not. I mean, I was playing this game a long time on PC and once I found the Discord, I started playing it a lot more. A lot more, to be honest. I almost got that uh, all DLC that doesn't exist patch until I was convinced there are a lot of people playing on PC still join the Discord, which I did. So thank you, Salt, for bringing me there. It did a lot to train me for that one Evo moment that I had. And I will always be grateful. Mmm. Dash right into it. What anticipation. I really want you to hit that EXD EX Psycho Crusher. Hazama, stop jumping over it. I guess I've had more luck with the regular one than the EX one. It's so bogus. But it really did not need that lie about the PC version. So we're gonna have it fixed clearly. That way, we can have people join and not ask about how to get the PC version to work because, unfortunately, the real issue is that you need to download a patch to make it work on Windows 10. What a deep DP. That elbow's giving me a lot of trouble the past few months, not gonna lie. I used to disrespect the elbow a ton in air air situations, but now it's like a really nice jumping. Because it is gonna cause free combos even if you try jumping backwards. Ridiculous. Mmm, got blocked this time. Ah, I missed again. Come on, stop it. Flinch, come on. DP? Ah, I didn't DP. I got that, though. Emergency footsies. Emergency crouching medium kick footsies with a character not meant for that nonsense. Yes, we do have button North Bay Hachi. So, I've said my diatribe about the community in like 2015 about the PC version, the lies they spread. Let's talk positive about the future. The prospect of me talking to Capcom representatives about this game has been something I've salivated over about as long as I've played it, to be honest. And the possibility of me having a talk about breathing new life into this game for what should be a fairly easy port. And it's not as if it's going to be as impossible as trying to revive CVS 2. See, CVS 2, that thing's pretty much dead and buried unless the administration SNK changes significantly. Like, significantly. A lot of the people that made CVS 2 happen don't work at SNK anymore because that place is going belly up in the interim. So you want to be very careful about, uh, Asking, hey, when's CVS 2? Because the answer is not going to be something you like. Cross Tekken, though, might be a bit more doable. Because right now, Akuma is dunking on people mercilessly in Tekken 7. I remember how nutty he was when he first got revealed on 2016. He seems to be back to that form, just doing crazy stuff. Nice. I wanted to get the meaty target combo, but to no avail. But shout-outs to the meaties of Kaogao. When I'm trying to jump away from a lot of this stuff, it's not happening. So I have to, look, do crazy stuff like that Rawlon situation. Just ridiculous mid-screen Rawlon, knowing he's going to try and sweep me. And tell him, none of that, sir. I'm lucky he didn't try using the jab tar combo. Because that continues on whiff, and it's very fast, even on whiff. It's nutty. Kazi is very nutty. I'm seeing a lot more of him online and offline. Which means I gotta relearn my tactics all over again. Excellent. Escape. The EX belly bump. Good. This time I blocked. Oh, I did get the follow-up. But that is the price of playing on PSN against Japanese people. Sometimes your execution will just magically disappear. As will your inputs. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, keep it simple. Ah, no link for me. Oh, no. I tried to get out. Got out there. Now I have no mirror do anything but kind of pester a bit. 
So about the Del Reverse, you're going to see this. Oh, he got me again. You're going to see this. Oh, he got me again. Tried to escape that time. <laughs> oh, it's so ambiguous. At least I can keep airborne to avoid that situation. Oh, he's tapped me with those low kicks. Got me again. I can't block that. Where is he coming from? I guess I should prepare to block a cross-up the moment he goes airborne, I suppose. Yeesh. Okay, I'm going to be lame here. Like, super lame. Get out of my face. Get the second hit. Oh, I didn't roll out. Don't need to. It's going to be a problem, though. I might have forfeited that. Got him! Got him! We still in it, folks. We still in the good stuff. There is no sound playing. We're going to change that right now. There we go. All fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. Wouldn't it be wild if you could play this as a Capcom Pro Tour event? I don't know if I'll be able to convince them that hard. But the fact I've been honest with them at all is still pretty impressive. I need to adapt to Kaga really bad, though. I've gotten lucky a lot of these games. I need to win convincingly. I think this is around the time I started to get these long win streaks. Because I had the most win streaks out of anyone there for the time I was there. I think I had uh, two or three um, laps at one point. Those YOLO cannon drills. So scary. That's advancing low. And Kami does have that dive kick situation that I got to worry about. So I'm going to keep Cammy out for real this time. As a reminder, no free escapes because she does have a very good DP. Ah, oh, I didn't get the follow-up. A very good DP. Get it. This time I just backed away. She fell short. Oh, I missed. This is problematic. Stop it! That move! Yeah, I'm trying really hard. And thankfully, I go for EX Raijin stance. But I also need to pay attention to when she's going to go for... That stay medium kick. That's a very far reaching neural comparable to Bison's stay medium kick. I think it actually has a better hitbox versus hurtbox than Bison's, too. Yeah, keep it simple for now. Let's keep him in the corner. Alright, he's walking out, but that's okay. Just keep him out of cross up range. I don't want to eat any more Tatsus. I had enough of that against Pac Man. Oy! The crouching. This time she should not just be my teleport. I got a little bit of time. Bringing Hachi in. DP reversal through that. Not a bad job. Whoa, meaty. So meaty. So sexy. Meeting, crouching, heavy punch from Kami of all people. And I got to watch out. Come on. Oh, no, she didn't do it that time. I was expecting her to do standing medium kick, not jump in. It was totally worth the risk. A matchup like that, I need to play by anticipation and reads. Da, 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 da. Keep it simple. Walk up. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Nobody home but my feet. That was the kind of round I needed. Get this train going, ladies and gentlemen. Vroom, vroom, vroom.
How many viewers we got? We got three viewers. Welcome, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well today. Let me get some water. And after this, I gotta tidy up my house a bit and get some more uh, NARF footage out of the way. By the way, NARF is not just me being a little bit pinky. It's the nickname for the North American Regional Finals that happened a couple weeks ago in Vegas for Street Fighter V. I'm doing a lot of the editing for it. The price I must pay to have an audience with our Capcom Overlord was Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And maybe Marvel Infinite, but mostly Cross Tekken. I think Cross Tekken would be a little bit easier to accomplish than uh, Marvel Infinite. Because there might be a sequel for Infinite, or even Marvel 4 on the way. The game's only two years old, even though the community acts like it's ancient. But as I've stated, the community for the FGC is pretty questionable these days. I feel very much a boomer in that situation. No, no DP. I really want you to DP there. Come on, Hazama. Oh, that medium punch. Uh. There we go. I uh, got it again. Uh, 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 uh. No, she got me. I want to parry you so gosh darn bad. But it might not have been a parry. It might have been an accidental DP. I was having issues. Hold on. I was having issues with this pad I was using last weekend. Hence why I'm getting a new pad. That every time I would get a lot of accidental jumps. Like a lot of accidental jumps. It was really gross. And you'll see that when I do the Discord tournament probably on Sunday. How gross my execution was on this pad. It's probably helped right now because it's PSN and Japan. Some inputs are just dying. But a lot of times when I wanted to do... Uh, Blocking from EXD to EXDP, I get the parry instead. The EX parry that you just saw. And it's very frustrating. Look at this. Hassan just turned his brain off here. I don't blame him in the slightest. Yeah, so my execution was not doing what it should have, and the pad was not doing what I expected to. Thus, we are getting a new pad. It just came in. I'll put the decal on it later this week, and I'll consider it my new thing moving forward. I want to try something different, but that's what I get for breaking in pads that aren't working the way they should when the stakes are high. That's something you do in casuals. In a way, this is kind of a casual, but I was hoping the problem would be solved by the time the Discord tournament started. It was not. I don't know if I would have beaten Brent with the old pad, but it probably would have helped if I didn't accidentally neutral jump or forward jump 8 million times while trying to finish or start a combo off of juggles. Because I'm sure you guys have seen me just suddenly jump forward when I'm trying to finish a juggle. That I normally finish. It's been happening a lot more. I do believe it might be the pad I'm using. Because that's the price of being a pad warrior. This is gross. Why am I dying like this? Just don't jump there, you buffoon. That's the price of being a pad warrior. It's cheaper... But it's cheaper for a reason. Oh, yeah, I got hit. Mmm, <sighs> no link for me. I need to respect that sweep. Because that's what happens if you don't. <laughs> that sweep. 
just crushes so many people's advances. I was hoping I would hit it there, but he didn't go for it. Why is he keep doing that, though? Well, that's clever. He's showing off now. No, you're not supposed to use that one. You bring Ayachi in. They have jumped over my EX Psycho Crusher countless times now. It's actually kind of annoying. Ugh! It still didn't work! Let me in! <laughs> let me in! Like, uh, Bray Wyatt says now, let me in! Now I gotta do these ridiculous heroics to cut this deficit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. 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 So dumb. Which meter I burned for no reason whatsoever. Because this guy likes jumping. And sadly is bison. I got to Oh no, he didn't go for it again! Sweep when I want you to. Got him that time. I'm going for something simple. Not even try risking anymore. So I'm getting kind of frustrated. Empty jumping himself. No, this time I gotcha. Got my way. Got him that time. Oh, I didn't DP. Ah, oh, he DP'd that time. Try testing me so often. I'm not anti hearing either, but it is online. And Jappy Connection. Hopefully, I ever see these guys in person. I'll be doing better here than I was before. Ah, uh, he interrupted with the sweet. Oh no, cross up Tatsu. I'm the only guy on the planet who can't cross up Tatsu when I go for the lab. Uh, oh no, he Blink did not connect. No, that one didn't want. Well, actually, probably did there. Probably expected more. Conversion, better than nothing. No, oh, no, you're supposed to go forward. Jump. All right, this time ready for you. I have a character who can anti a little more easily. Got dark. Got it that time. Got it that time. Bum, bum. Oh no, I missed. Bummer. Uh, got it. Nah. Okay. I know what you're trying to do. That's pretty ambiguous. So I wasn't going to challenge it. Because if I tried pressing a button on that EX block, I would have been DP'd to heck. That EX cannon drill is crazy. Crazy deceptively safe. If they do weird stuff like that, moves that are never used, that's probably the purpose of it. To fool you. Anytime someone does an EX move out of the blue like that, because it's never used in combos, but you block it, keep blocking. So I guarantee you, they're doing that to play with your head. That's probably a frame trap. There we go. Neutral jump, medium kick. It's rare I face Christy as well. Christy's pretty cool. Come on. Ah, oh, good anti-air. Uh, oh, I missed. Da, da. Uh, oh, no. No follow-up for me. Yes. Beat the alpha counter. Go, Bono. No, <laughs> nobody home. Nobody home. Oh, no. I'm getting outranged. Getting footsied out in the worst possible spot in the corner. Wake up. Nope. There you go. Over the back fist there. I shouldn't have gone for this. But I guess I want to make a statement. Standing low, empty jump. My favorite. Got it again. More the same. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there's a better follow-up I have. I was going to risk it. Kind of tight. And doing against... Uh, ja oh, what? I did nothing there. You see what I mean? I can't even follow up with that. There's no chance I'm following up with uh, tire stuff. Got it. No. Electric for you. 
Oh, that felt so good. I remember I did on Punko once. So, so addicting. I almost said erotic, but I don't know if I felt that good. I, I might have, but again, I'm not going to say that. This is a PG stream. Let's keep things going. All right, this time I actually did something at the end of that juggle before nothing happened whatsoever. Got a text to look at in a moment. Oh, uh, uh, I'm dead. Uh. Uh, let's see. Thanks for getting born to mom. Make your heart. Oh, it's my uh, family wishing happy Thanksgiving. Anyway. Oh no! I could have done more of that. I wanted to finish the boost. I was going to finish the link. I should say. I was going to boost. I was going to link into the Psycho Crusher and try. Uh, no, link into the scissors to try a Psycho Crusher. Whoa! I'm getting excited now. And I might be dead here. Knows how I don't roll a lot, but maybe I'm just... Maybe that's why I jump over the Psycho Crusher and block it more, because I don't roll much when I'm near the corner. Because I'm expecting a throw. Uh, oh, missed. Uh, 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 okay. We're cooking. We're burning up. So I guess a lot of people just have their own little anti psycho blue is blame. I'm the only guy who streams other than homeless. So there's a lot of footage of me playing and doing stuff. So if there's a way to study my habits, this is the way to do it here on Cross Wires, whether it be my Twitch or my YouTube. Bottoms up. I'm pretty glad that I built this scene back up. There's been a lot of competition as of late. It's not just me falling off, either. So I'm still getting top three on the regular. Even against people who normally would beat me all the time, even when I was winning EVO. So I take some credit and some pride in that. Because, I mean, look. Look how far we have come since that EVO. We have our little logo. We're talking to Capcom about bring the game back to life. We got guys coming back the game like Brent and LPN and Seth LOL. I guarantee you, if I get this game like properly resurrected by our Capcom overlords, that means like a port for PS4 and Xbox One and a new PC version and some limited turn support again where I'm not the only one putting money in the pot, they're going to come back. And why wouldn't they? We got 300,000 plus views just from Combo Breaker alone um, on the Team Spooky channel. Now, keep in mind, it's not just Team Spooky as a reason for that, because there are other games there got like maybe 8,000, 10,000 views. No, 300,000, 2019. That's impressive. And when I was at Combo Breaker, people from New Zealand told me that they knew my name, and they started playing Cross Tekken again because... They figured if I was beating Esta and whoever else, there must still be new competition and um, growth in the game. And I, am again, take pride and some credit for that because I am tenacious about this game. And for a long time, I was the only one putting up any kind of tournament whatsoever at any event. Probably from like a 2015 to 26, 2017, it was all me. And then... Um, Big E hosted Summer Jam, which I attended. I mean, the Summer Jam one even got me on that eSports earnings site. So I definitely got somebody's attention. So I didn't know that site existed until I saw my name on a couple weeks ago when a co-worker told me about it. And that's when I realized just uh, what I've been doing the past few years. So I hope that with all this stuff going on, we can give this game a big shot in the arm have it on systems that people actually own other than PC. And I think this game would get like a big surge. I don't know about as big as Melee because that's a Nintendo brand. That's a little special beast. But I absolutely do believe we could see some kind of a... Maybe like a Third Strike type Renaissance. So slightly more modest. But Third Strike was looked at with disdain up until the Anniversary Collection. Because I remember that. I remember back as a kid... It was Alpha 3 or Bust, among uh, the casuals. Uh, Third Strike kind of came and went on Dreamcast and then faded along with it. 
But then the anniversary collection came out. The one that came out the uh, the anime and that really bad Hyper Street Fighter 2 port. Once that came out, a lot of people started appreciating Third Strike a lot more. So maybe we could have that kind of renaissance for it if we can get Capcom on board to promote it. And Namco, obviously. That's one thing. I mean, it's... I'm sure if it was just Capcom making the call, they would have brought it back by now. But it's not. It's Capcom and Namco. But at least this would give me... Even if they say they can't... Bottoms up. Holding it like uh, Mr. Kenny now. Even if they say that they can't bring it back immediately, they can tell me what it would take to bring it back. Like, they'll say, oh, we can't do that, we have to do this, 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 and this, 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 and these guys and these have to say something. So, at least then I'll know what our next step is. So, whether we get the best possible news or just another clue, it's better than nothing. And I do, again, take a little bit of pride knowing that I'm in this position in the first place um, to be recording all the Street Fighter Five footage and doing anything for the FGC in general by recording this stuff and having this resume padding for them because of the journey I've taken to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And it means a lot to me because a lot of people, I mean, one of the many criticisms that was heaped onto me in this particular portion of my life, um, saying that I couldn't do it, that I was wasting my time, that, uh, there we go, that I was wasting my time that there was no point in doing it. But look, look at what the opportunities that that I've been given. Look at what we've created together. And I thank all of you for being part of this journey to help me get this opportunity. Um, because eventually I would have gotten sick of the echo chamber. Even I get sick of the echo chamber sometimes. So now that I have a little bit of an audience, um, yeah, let's keep it going, guys. Up into 2020, we are. this game is going to be 8 years old very soon. But as you can see, we've shown no signs of slowing down. If anything, we've actually picked up more steam than we did back in like 2016 when I thought about kind of putting the game down for Street Fighter V. A game I still like. I wouldn't be recording footage for it for the game I flat out to test it. But Street Fighter V did teach me a lot of stuff that I kind of brought back to Street Fighter Cross Tekken where I could see the flaws in a different game, take a bit of a break, and slow myself down to stop making so many silly decisions. Because I've watched my old footage, even today, to be honest. Um, I can see a lot of flaws and bad habits I have that I really should be fine-tuning at this point. Street Fighter V taught me a lot about those habits. And when I started getting to Street Fighter V and started winning a lot of my uh, my locals and my online tournaments that I was participating in, Cross Tekken was improving along with me. And a few months later, EVO 2017 happened, and I accomplished my mission. So I'm proud of myself for that. Okay. Playing a little more cautiously. This time I just... I don't think he even pressed it. He might have been walking forward, to be honest. I don't think he was going for a sweep. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, I see five people in the chat. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? Just type something if you want. If not, just uh, enjoy the show. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. It was too far. So the thing about that new jump I'm learning, the double cycle crusher off the hell axle, you have to be in a certain position to get the right spot. Otherwise, they'll cross up and you'll have no charge to deal with it. I'm trying to get it so I have charge if it does cross up, but it's hard for me to anticipate what side I'm landing on is the problem. If I can anticipate that more, I might be able to keep the corner if that happens, but so far, um, I can't really see the height that I have to be at to cross them up. Otherwise, it just whiffs entirely. It's really strange. But hopefully get better of time. That was a fantastic game I just played. I had to, because Cogra was kind of kicking my butt for a while. Maybe it was his turn to get the lag, you know? Because after all, this is on PSN playing people overseas. This was so bad, there was absolutely no hope of me ever getting some kind of spectator 
when it wasn't my turn. Thankfully, after this, it was starting to become my turn pretty frequently. I think these next few games are all wins because after, I like, think, the second lap, I decided, hey, let's wrap up with, uh, with some pair play stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stop moving backwards. Mm, that ant here. That big spike. But crouching heavy. I'm pretty sure I can punch. I gotta work on punching that move raw. I'm not sure why I would use it raw, to be honest. Might have been a missed input. Oh, the DP. That electric wind craziness. Not your turn, Kazuya. Alright, so now I'm going to be using that move a lot. That move a lot because I have to. Otherwise, I'm going to get electric right in the face. Ah, uh, uh, no situation. But I still have the corner. It's all good. Oh, trying to swap me down? I see what you're trying to do, Chrissy. It's not going to work. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, I need to work on better confirm. There we go. One, two hands. Oh, no, not this time. Good wake up smackdown. That was nice. Oh, no. No. Ah, oh, he was blocking. I'm dead. I believe I was trying to do it earlier. Like when he landed, but I didn't get it. So he might have done a meaty with that crouching medium punch. Because when he lands, I was actually going to use that cross art. So it came out, uh... A move late. So I remember now. I was going to use a cross star as soon as he landed. But I think the medium punch caught me meaty. Or mid buffer. This is disastrous. Uh. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Hey, I was going to have to carry me for a little bit. Oh, no! The trade did not work in my favor whatsoever. I saw that long hit stun, though I had still advantage, but I didn't. Uh, nothing for you. Gotcha! Ga, 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 ga. Go, ga, ga. Ah, backdash. Uh, no, no, he tagged me back. Oh, no! I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. He missed. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, that might be dead. Maybe not. Get out of there. Oh, whoa! -ho -ho -ho! What was that? <laughs> Cross up anti-air for real? Yeah, I'm, I'm flustered. I was like, what do you do there? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Never mind. I spoke too soon. I'm dead. Ugh, I guess Cowgow was the guy to beat in this situation. Because I think he has uh, two wins on me here. Gross. Gross. Yeah, guys, gross. <laughs> what was that anti air? It hit me at such a weird angle. I had no idea what to do when I landed. How could you know? What do you do in that situation? I mean, yeah, you could block, but which way? You basically cross under yourself. These guys have gotten a lot better, though. I I'm going to be honest. Again, again, here at Crosswires, you can expect absolute honesty whether you guys want to hear... That honesty or not. I mean, I've, I've had so many people break contact and block me over the years. But in hindsight, if I can't be who I am and be accepted for, it probably wasn't a friendship worth maintaining. But I will say this. These guys, while I might be salty right now watching this stuff, and there were some confounding variables, I'm not going to lie. 
a lot of it is self-licked on my end. And the fact that these guys are so good, I think I seriously underestimated them. If I known this good, I would use a pad that's a little bit more reliable, I suppose. Because I was trying to break it in for the new pad art I was getting soon. I know it's a stupid hang-up, but I suppose it's a small price to pay for looking cool. But I think I also expected these guys to not be as good as they are right now. I knew Cog was going to be a problem, but I was hoping I'd learn my lesson in the interim. But now Cowgow's a big problem. Doing a lot of those Kazuya shenanigans have been driving me nuts the past few months. Hazama's playing Dudley now. Always fun. <laughs> not really. Got to worry about that DP compared to some other high-low characters that he plays. Yeah, DPs are scary in this game. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, too far. Oh, he stuffed me. She stuffed me, ladies and gentlemen. Da, da, da. Da, da. Oh, no, I missed two. We're all dropping stuff now. Yes. Yes. Raw light. Godfist. The good stuff. Yeah, these guys are really good. I underestimated them significantly. And I really need to stop doing that. If I'm ever going to get to the top again, if that urge does come back at a significant point... Ah, I was hoping you'd sweep. At a significant point, I need to realize, just like before Evo, that one Evo, that anyone can beat me at any given time. Now, my old team would used to say everyone will always beat you, which is probably why they don't like me, because I kept beating them back, and I told them to go up themselves in one way or another, and they didn't appreciate me kind of putting the hype back in their face. I missed it again. But when I realize that everyone is godlike or treat everyone like they're godlike, I do a lot less stupid stuff. It's harder for me to kind of pull back once I've tested someone and they're legitimate because then I start playing really pensive because I threw so much stuff away. I used to be better about that, but I guess I've gotten old over the years. I really wanted to anti him. Nothing came out. So I need to play as if everyone is God tier. And if I do that, I will do less stupid stuff. And I will win a lot more. I think after that summer jam, where I was like sick and tired and still won a gold medal, I felt like I was the only one trying. Because I didn't feel like I should have won at all. But if I can get that fire back, and I do believe it is somewhat back in every game, to be honest. I think being bad at Marvel did definitely uh, teach me the struggle of starting back at zero again. Then I can regain some poise. Because, again, it's not just execution. It's not all these things as mentioned. It's also up here. Because a true champion overcomes everything that's up here. Well, you're, you're your own worst enemy. Because you can play these games for years and years and years and years and years and still feel like you're not breaking any ground. Not because the game is stagnant, but because you might have hit a mental block. And the sooner you realize that all these things are in your head and you have no excuses other than your own shortcomings, then they're off to the races. I see a lot of it in Street Fighter V as well. That uh, feeling that I'm not going to win like this, or like this, or like this. And they talk about the guessing games. Hey, if you read a guy hard enough, you can make him guess wrong every single time. So there's definitely ways to do it. Man, look at Bonchan. He's winning with uh, Sagat. Yeah, he has Karen as a backup to kind of finish the job. But look, I got Karen to finish the job too. I got Heihachi for that. All Bison had is some really long reach and uh, a little bit of safety, but otherwise his mixes aren't too great other than if he gets, like, the side crusher mix, only in certain situations. Hey, Hachi has horrible walk speed, but er everything else is great. And stubby normals, yeah. He does have some normals, but nothing really truly relying on. Most of his stuff's just going to be uh, setting some stuff up. Oh, I was hoping you'd do more stuff than that. Yeah, I thought I caught Hazama there for sure. Oh, no, this time he caught me. I'm probably dead. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I gave that away. That was a forfeit round. You see, I got stuck in my head thinking about everything else I thought the 
round was in the bag, but instead I got hit by the cyanide. That used to drive me nuts when I first started playing this game. Now I've kind of learned to identify when it's coming and react to it better. Hazama's a big reason why. I really hate when he jumps in like that when I try to go in his bison. Yeah, keep out of my grill. Keep out of my grill. There you go. Uh, uh, oh, you blocked low. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Still blocking. Still blocking. Still blocking all along. Oh, no. I could have been DP there. I got to be careful. Uh, uh, uh. God, I didn't miss the link. Keep it. Oh, no. I was pressing something I shouldn't have. I thought I had advantage, but... She's a little bit too far and a little bit too fast. Right now, I need to be careful. Bison can blow up easier than Hihachi can if she tries the armor stuff. Ah, see, I'm getting better at that. Oh, come on. Let me in. Shall you playing off footsies right now? Da 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 da. Yeah, the uh, Futsi Jayu from PSN the last time. I just don't remember that guy. <sighs> Where was I? Getting in your own head. When the stakes are high, it's very easy to do. I mean, hey, look at that. Sailor Moon player from a few tournaments ago who chucked a chair at some baby after he lost in the game. I mean, Sailor Moon is way more poverty than this game. I mean, that, that game is pretty much like emulators or nothing. So, if you don't get that mad over that game, you don't get mad over this game. And I've seen people do it. I've told the Summer GM story countless times now with the uh, guy I tried... Who threatened, who threatened to throw hands after uh, he got bought by Jack Hugo. A team I have not played in months, actually. I gotta get back on that team. But yeah, people get mad. Tensions are high, and the more you learn how to see... Leneth spoke to me about my emotions controlling me a lot. I think the difference between me and him is that I embrace my emotion. And this is a concept that's very strange to many people. But when you have, like, a supernova within you, trying to contain a supernova with your hands is not going to happen. You have to learn to ride that explosion to get you to where you need to be faster. If you can embrace those, not so much like just go full freak out, but try and re-channel that emotion and redirect it somewhere positive. Like, use to amp yourself up. I mean, now when I get salty, I sound like Fong from Street Fighter V. Going, woo! Or, or things like that. And I don't care. Because it makes me remember that it's just a game. And if I treat it like I'm a seven-year-old having fun, like on the playground or whatever, not so much a seven-year-old throwing a tantrum, but just realizing it's a game and that I'm enjoying myself, the less likely I'm going to, A, regret a choice I made, or B, feel bad if I lose. And if I win, I'm more likely to win doing that than I am just being fully stoic. I tried doing the fully stoic stuff for years and years. It never worked out because I would always just implode upon myself and take it too seriously. Shouts to Daigo who can do that. I can't do that. Daigo is unflappable. Takino's like that too, where he just, oh, I could have done so much there. I guess I didn't want to accidentally get hit by the end of that particular move. Oh, I forgot. This is pair play. This is when we decided to stay, because I was winning a lot at this point. I said, hey, let's uh, pair play before I head off to my local. And they said, sure. So, yeah. Embrace your emotion. Let me let it control you. Embrace it. That way you can redirect all that energy to feel better about yourself as you play, even if you're losing. Because it's still a game. 
and you're facing someone strong. The, the joy of facing someone as good as you is such a conflict of emotions. And I had to learn or relearn the joy of that. And now I kind of talk the way I do. And I'm told it's annoying. I'm told it makes me sound like an idiot. But again, look at what we've accomplished. Look at how I always seem to be in a good mood. And hey, in this day and age, being in a good mood is kind of a rarity for good reasons. Because the world today could use a lot of work to get better. But I've learned to grin and bear it. And because of that, I can keep my cool these things a lot easier. Especially this game, where I've played it so many years and done so many things in it, where it's almost second nature to me. I look at every game now as like a refresher course in a way for me to better refine the way I express my love for this game. And I think if you learn how to do that in your game, whatever it might be, you will see rapid improvements in your overall fundamentals. Because once you have, like, all the frame data learned, and you have, like, all the spacing and stuff learned, you learn the matchups pretty well, all that's left now is your own darn self and how you might be doing things, you might be giving matches away. Because being real, if you play a game enough, you will know there's no reason you can't beat anybody in front of you. Because eventually you'll start to say, oh, well, they've studied more and practiced more, and they've done this or that. For me in this game, and this is the, what I told myself, or this is what my friend told me leading into that one Evo. I keep going back to that event because that was real, really where everything changed for me mentally. Um, some say for the worse, but I think given all stuff I've done since, I'd say devil for the better. Um, he told me that I've been playing this game so much. I've been studying it so much as a commentator, as a organizer, as a player, there was no reason for me to lose any by this point. And he was right. So I told... Oh, come, oh, come on. Sorry. I had to react there. I was waiting for the neutral jump, and I was going to cross art him down. But I went to the lab after this. When Bison does that, his entire box moves forward really fast. I was thinking he was stationary the entire time up until that point. But, other than things like that, very esoteric situations, my friend said, you've learned so much, you've studied so much, what's holding you back? And I had to think about when I took the BCBA exam, and how I didn't pass the first couple of times, the same question, what am I not getting? The answer, unfortunately, was accountability. I can make these excuses, but as I was stating earlier, and state after I made these excuses, in the end, the end result is somebody won, somebody lost, and sadly, you're not the one that won. So what do you got to do to change it? So I went to the Discord, first time, learned a lot of stuff. Discord really taught me um, how far behind it actually was. Thankfully, I caught up quick. And even now, I'm playing Street Fighter Five a lot more. I went to Discords there because I've been losing a lot of my locals to guys who before I was kind of beating somewhat consistently. Because they leveled up and I didn't. So I went to Discords to learn how I can uh, close the gap again. That's the wonderful thing about games today. You can do so many things to level up in a hurry. You don't have to buy a strategy guy anymore. You don't have to... Um, be part of, like, a secret chat group now. Now there's discords for every character, for every game you can possibly think of. I mean, we got... Da there's a Damon Bride discord. I mean, I'm so happy. I gotta play the Damon Bride people a lot more. Cause that's probably my favorite uh, non-IP anime game ever. And the fact that I can finally play it online after all these years is fantastic. There's a discord for everything, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. I don't know if you should be taking those headbutts, Kagura. I'm sorry. Good. Okay, he's trying to condition him a bit. Well, he's still down. Life lead. Once you look at every single match as a chance to learn, 
a chance to express your love for the game you play and a chance to refine the way you express that love, it will make your matches and your mental health a lot more easy to swallow. It's why I kind of uh, treat these tight matches like... I won't say child's play. That's the right term for it. But I do, again, I, I embrace my inner child when I face guys as strong as me. Because there's that sense of wonder. And I never want to lose that sense of wonder when playing someone strong. Whether it be Brent or um, these guys or LPN or Homeless or Lenneth or Max or anyone else. Salt's been getting really good, too. And you'll be seeing a lot of that and how close Salt was to beating me when I do the Discord tournament. I never want to lose that sense of wonder. Because the moment I lose that sense of wonder, I feel like I've uh, conquered everything. I just didn't like how that felt at all. Oh, no. Sorry, Dudley. Should know it was coming, too. Come on, Hazam. I don't want to lose that sense of wonder because that sense of wonder will prompt me to continue getting better, to continue staying motivated. Because that summer jam, I don't want to relive that feeling ever again. There are a million things that happened, like me getting sick and the guy threatening me and things like that. But the fact of the matter was, when I won, I felt empty. I felt like I survived more than I won. Even though, when I look back at that bracket, that was maybe even a bigger accomplishment than winning that one Evo. I mean, JB was there, Psychochronic was there, Vic Viper was there. Evo, anime Evo champions, guys who've won the uh, Capcom Pro Tour events, guys who travel the world to play Street Fighter. So many great players there. And uh, Sion was there, who I know is really good at the game as well. So I should have been prouder than I was. And I don't want to ever feel that way again. I felt awful. I mean, I, I think I put down, like, all video games, all, unless it was, like, a tournament event that I was hosting for months and months. I felt so lost. I mean, I was getting kicked from Discord, too. I got kicked from the Old Cross Second IRC around that time, too. Just suck all around. Ment mentality sucked. Uh, my health sucked. Well, it didn't suck that much. I mean, my health sucked. I don't think I would have survived that tournament while stuff was going on. Not just survived in bracket, just survived in general. Thankfully, I'm pretty healthy, and I work out a lot. But I tried putting games aside for many months, and... I was just unpleasant to everybody. I don't want that to happen again. I, I like having this sense of wonder. And that's why I decided to embrace my inner child when I play these games. Because this is my favorite game. And it's taken me to so many amazing places. I mean, come on, it's taken me to Los Angeles at Capcom Cup. Like, this game gave me the tool set I needed to get this opportunity. And I want to continue expressing uh, my love for this game by playing it, by representing it, and by taking pride in the fact that there's some competition in this game. After all these years, there is competition in this game, and whether it's competition coming back to the game or new blood that's been improving over time, this is... Again, don't, list, don't lose that sense of wonder. Whatever game you might play, Never lose that sense, because the day you do, even when you win, it, it's a bad feeling. And I don't want—I don't want to experience it ever again. I don't want you ever experience it. Okay, so here comes that uh, that childish trick, that childish trickery. I mean, you gotta see this coming up. I mean, th this is just again. You'll see what I mean. All right, yeah, Hazama and Kalgo trying to close the gap. This could be it. Okay, watch this. Here we go. The block string continues up. Oh, not anymore. Taunt. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to pop off there when that worked. Because I knew what Kago was thinking. I didn't text him, but I knew deep down this is what you're going to do in that situation. And I bet it's going to happen here. So I did what I could to kind of uh, open him up. Mm -mm. Oh, I missed it. Oh, did I give it away? I, I'm i sorry, Kagura. I got a little bit too excited. Oh, I missed it again. No worries. Ah, uh, 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 there you go. Finish the job, Kagura. I'm sorry. 
Oh, you want me to finish it? Okay. Thanks, Kagura. You're a real bro. All right, guys. That's our show for today. Thank you for joining us. For joining me on this cool Thanksgiving evening. So, with that being said, if you like what you see here, please join the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Discord. Find the Discord link here, and you can read our complete dossier at the bit link or at the Discord link, which also contains the dossier. So you can learn whichever character you wish and whichever team you wish. Additionally, I will most likely be running another Mobless Meetings in the very near future. Mobless Meetings, Steam's premier Marvel Hangout. So this is going to be a Feta 2 Worlds ranking event for the PC. It will most likely be either next Sunday or the Sunday after the Capcom Cup. Wait, no. Sunday after might be the NBA Playgrounds one. Either way, there will be a Marvelous Meetings this month. Please look forward to it. It's another game very near and dear to me. Not quite as much cross Tekken, but it is very close. Because in many ways, Marvelous Meetings and Mars Capcom Infinite was what helped prompt me to create the Crosswires brand. Because I was playing games other than cross Tekken for the first time in however many years. And I'm really glad that this game has been in my life. And obviously, um, let me... Nah, not going to bother. So, without further ado, I think it's time to wrap up this stream. Again, I do hope you enjoyed Street, Fa Street Chatter Cross Talking, the Street Fighter Cross Tekken podcast here at Cross Wires. Done this new poster, look great, I love it. I can't wait to uh, show you guys my new pad when it comes in. And this time I'll break it in properly and accept whatever uh, O and twos I might endure. In the interim, the Psycho Blue, conduct the hype train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag cross wires, hashtag street fire cross tech, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful Thursday evening. I will see you guys on Sunday for the Street Fighter Cross Tech and PC Discord tournament. It was definitely a blast. Look forward to it. It's going to be a long one. Later, everybody. All right.